what is going on everybody welcome back to another of my youtube videos today you guys are going to actually be watching something a little bit different than what i usually post on my youtube channel you guys use of call of duty and anything honestly related to that um today i actually have some need for speed heat for you guys i actually literally just got this game uh about a week maybe a week and a half ago max um and i actually just learned something that i actually do want to share with you guys um this is actually figured out today um, so hopefully it, hopefully it will help some of you guys out. It's actually going to be a money glitch. Um, dude, dude, those of you guys that played this, it is so hard to make money in this. So I'm just going to try and be quick. This is going to be a quick little video. I don't want to waste you guys' time. Um, the only requirement that you do need is a decent car. And I, th I believe you have to be at least level 12 or 13 just so you can have this whole area unlocked that you need to be in. Um, but basically, let me just get right into it. The only way... To get here, um, basically, you want to get in this little area right here, as you guys can see I'm at right now, because there's actually a speed trap that's going to come in handy one second once I get there. Um, there's a house in the top and another house, I believe somewhere in the bottom over here. The one on top is a lot closer. Uh, so if you want, you could just fast travel to that and then drive down to this fast, tra I mean, the long jump right here. I am already here, uh, so it's easier to show to you guys. But basically, what you're going to want to do um, you're gonna want to be somewhere in this area when you're ready to jump um, Like I said, it doesn't really matter what kind of car you have the best way that I found For this to work is if you can kind of go through the actual target going around 70 miles an hour So I'll show you guys right now what you guys have to do um, So this distance basically from the actual target is what worked best for me Literally just go from here you're gonna want to drive all the way down hit around 70 miles an hour is what I found best go at it a little bit of an angle and you're going to want to land in that general area of the actual dirt, sand, mud, whatever. And you guys saw that I just gained like four and a half thousand dollars. Uh, so literally, you just want to kind of keep going to this little like area and just taking off, like I said, around 70 miles an hour is what, what kind of worked best for me. Just take a little angle and go that way. And you can see that literally, basically, the game will spawn you back up top. And I'm getting 4,725. Um, you could be trying to go for three stars. Um... I think it's above like 80 or 90 miles an hour, but I found that going for two stars, it's a little quicker and it's not as time consuming. So you can get a lot more runs in. So it is easier for you to actually try and rack up more money in a short amount of time. You can go for three stars, nobody's stopping you. You will obviously get more money. It's just going to spawn you a little bit closer. You're going to have to keep going in reverse. So it's going to be a little bit more time consuming. So at the end of the day, it's going to be better for you guys to go uh for the two star average like i said 70 miles an hour you should be more than fine with that but you guys can see 3100 3150 um i'm gonna be honest with you i've just since i started recording i made 30 grand um within the last like i say not even five minutes it's very very easy to get with this like i'm saying i mean 3100 is like the minimum you saw 47 before if you could time it perfectly um, you're literally just going to want to be going on an angle right here, guys. And uh, if you go in the water or hit the bridge, just so you know, it's not going to give you the money. You're kind of just going to want to spawn in the back. Um, if you hit the bridge and then go in the water, it's going to land you on the bridge. You got to drive all the way around. So you don't want to do that. Uh, you just want to be kind of as much accurate as an angle with that here. Um, that's going to give you the best results. Because like I said, if you do miss, I mean, the bridge is going to make you go all the way around. But say if you go on the bridge first and hit the water. Uh, you're not getting any money. So I just want to keep you guys informed on that. I hope you guys do enjoy the glitch. I know it is quick. Uh, like I said, I don't want to make it a long video for absolutely no reason. But uh, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you find it useful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like seeing gameplays like this. Follow me on my social media links. Down Whoa. Follow me on all of my social media links down in the description below. That's what happens when I try talking too fast. Um, but like I said, let me know if you guys enjoy watching these types of videos. This is a game that I've been playing a lot lately. Uh, Call of Duty is kind of hard to really play, honestly, and try and get gameplay for when you're playing by yourself. So, um, if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like this, you know, let me know. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.